All right, so question from a student was, if I have this many molecules of water, uh, what is the mass in grams of water? That was what the question was. Is that right? Let me go back here and make sure I got that right. Well, let's, let's assume it is. Okay, now if that's the question, then we, we go back and say, all right, if I've got molecules, I'm going to need a conversion somehow to grams. Now, what kind of conversion am I going to do? Well, actually, we don't have a conversion straight from grams to, I'm sorry, from molecules to grams, but we do have a conversion from molecules to moles. That conversion we have. Okay? Now, how do we get from molecules to moles? And that is through Avogadro's number, which I'm going to say N sub A. Okay? Now, how do we get from moles to grams? We get there through formula weight. Okay, this is a very common motif, motif that we're going to be using here, not just for this chapter, but for the rest of the semester. And so, if I know that, I'm going to set my problem up like this and say, I've got molecules of H2O. Now, it turns out, I know how many molecules I have. I have 1 times 10 to the 24, okay? But I want to focus first right now on the units of everything so I can cross stuff off, okay? And if I want to convert this to moles, I need to find out moles of H2O per molecules of H2O. How many moles per molecule? So if I've got one mole, how many molecules do I have? 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. Okay. Now, I like this method because I can now cross those guys off, and I know I've converted successfully to moles of H2O. And all I've got to do is divide these two numbers. One's in the numerator, that one's in the numerator, that's in the denominator. Divide those guys up, and I'm, I'm done. Okay? But I'm not looking for moles. I'm really looking for grams. That was the question. So if I'm looking for grams, I've got to cancel out moles of H2O. And how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to do it through formula weight. Grams of H2O per moles of H2O. Okay. And what are those numbers? Well, it's 18 grams of H2O for every one mole. And I know that because I look it up in a periodic table. Right? Hydrogen is 1.008 grams per mole. Oxygen is 15.9994 grams per mole. And it's, so we're going to take this, multiply it by 2. We're going to add that to it. And we're going to get, let me do this in the calculator. 1.008 times 2 plus 15.9994. And it gives us 18.0154. 18.0154. Okay. So doing that to two sig to, to three sig figs, it would be 18.0. Okay. Or if you want to do it to four sig figs, 18.02. Okay. You'll find the answer doesn't change. Alright, so if I've got that, now I'm going to take that number and multiply it times one times 10 to the 24, and divide by 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. And the answer is going to be 29. The answer is going to be, am I in red? The answer is going to be 29.91597, and so on. Okay. And that's going to be in grams because that's all I had left. Here, let me show you. Let me remind you that we crossed off the moles here and we were left with grams of H2O. Grams of H2O. All right, now that we've got that, this is about, this is about 30 something, right? Let's see, this has got three sig figs. One, two, three. This has got four sig figs. This has got four sig figs, okay? 
And this is an exact number, so it doesn't matter. This is an exact number, so it doesn't matter. It turns out the limit then is going to be three sig figs. And so it looks like actually, no, if I'm doing three sig figs, it's going to be those three right there. See, I don't round up, so I was rounding up. I shouldn't have done that. It's not that. It's 29.9 grams of H2O. All right. Now, that's if I use these numbers here. I think you're going to be using, I think your periodic table says 16.00, which is less precise than mine, and maybe 1.08 for uh, oxygen, or for hydrogen. So if your number comes out to be 30, it's probable it's just because you used a different periodic table. All right, if that's a little bit too fast, I ask you to, to, um, to actually watch the video again and go a little slower and pause it uh, at critical spots and see if you can predict what I'm, I'm going to say. But I guess I would finally like to emphasize one last thing, and that is this. This is what I want to emphasize right here. This is a very common motif. We're going to be going from we're going to be going back and forth between molecules and moles and mass a lot. And it's always going to be through these particular conversions. Okay, I hope that's helpful.